this weekend I'm running my Helix into uh, Kemper, which is backstage. So I'm playing just electric guitar this weekend, so I have every song on a preset. Every song has its own preset, so I just go through them. So we're starting with uh, Overcome. So you can see I have the different song sections. Chorus, verse, chorus is where I come in. Verse two, instrumental, bridge build. Are you showing them the Line 6 Helix? I am. I set up a separate patch for each song. Today. I saw that. That's called extreme organization and yes, preparation. It's one of my favorite P's. Tips for preparation. Preparation is what are your key. What are your other P's? Punctuality and professionalism. And preparation. Those three things can pretty much get you anywhere You in don't life. have to have talent to get those done. You don't need talent for any of those. Yeah. yeah you can be beautiful. professional, you can be prepared, you can be on time. That's right. Remember the slow jams? They were real popular in the late 80s. So if your ear mix is different, relax. It's, it's okay. Um, it's not a big deal. You take yourself way too seriously. Um, <laughs> just fix it, and we'll keep moving on. Good morning, New Hope. Let's sing together. Let's stand together in this place. Yeah. We have music all Friday and Saturday, so now, um, Everything has changed, our in-ear mixes and everything, oh, so no. we had to kind of adjust a little bit and stuff, so, but hey, it just comes with the territory. My in mix was fine. This is Angelo Here, Hall. He's playing bass today. Exactly. Angelo, what, what, how do you approach preparing for a Sunday morning? Well... Here at New Hope Church. I prepare for Sunday morning on Monday afternoon. Okay. Six days before Sunday. Ah. Get the songs. Put the headphones on. Learn them. Just not, not, not learn. You just gotta okay. listen. Gotta listen. listen to the songs. Okay. So that you know how the, the song's gonna build, <laughs> how the song's gonna fade, when to build, when, because everything is about dynamics. So, so if you don't for, know the, the song, you can't play the song. That's how you prepare. <laughs> you gotta know the song if you wanna play the song. Amen. By, by Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon, I'll, I'll actually look at the chord charts if it's a new song. I've been playing for so long, a lot of these songs aren't new to me, so right. I don't so much have to go and let's say, all right, what is the chord progression here? Every, you know, Christian music, everything is the same. So <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta know what the chords are, and then you just go ahead and play with the song, not with the click track, play along with the song, so that you can actually feel yourself playing the song the way the song's supposed to be played, because I promise the people who wrote the song had it perfect. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Don't do too much extra. You can add a little bit of stuff here and there, but for the most part, keep it simple. Play the song. It's that simple, baby. Tim, how hot do you think it is out here? Probably about... Probably about 85, 90? 80, 85. It's, and it's better. humid. I can't, it is. I can't I mean, what time, it's it like, is. is it even 7.30 yet? I call this the gas chamber. So, um, John L., my question to you is, is why why did you wear a winter coat today? Yeah. I mean, uh, it looks it looks nice. It's, it's cold inside. I don't yeah. know. Tim, Tim's but I don't styling. Know what inside is anymore. The way Tim has styled it here yeah. doesn't look so nice. I mean, Tim, I think it looks nice. Now, Tim, you yourself. Yeah. You're looking you're looking good. He put an H in quite. Ooh. You heard that? Quite. Oh, Lead a song like that, Tim, please. And the darkness fades. <laughs> and then open the zipper when you say that. The <laughs> darkness fades. Zipper opens up. In the name of Jesus. The whole room gets saved. And right then there. everybody goes crazy. Good morning, New Hope. Come on, let's stand together and let's worship together. Are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord? I said, are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord? Come on, let's sing. Now the darkness fades into new beginnings. Put out an anthem, sing it, holy, holy. Run is only a half mile, I don't know if you know this. It goes down in two and a half minutes. 
And so we didn't start at the beginning because we had done our research. That's where people die. People die at the beginning and people die at the end. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that to be that funny. Well, there's no push ups right now. Well, you cover, cover, cover. You're going to get uncovered one day. John's our drummer today. A lot of times, in a lot of our Worship Leader Wednesday videos, yeah. when I talk about people who are your bedrock, the people who you can really count on from day one, this is the guy I'm talking about. But you gotta stay in the Word, man. You gotta continue to be renewing your mind and realize why you're here. It and, can't be for you. And on the click track. You gotta stay in time, too. Yes. It's, it's game time. Fuller and I are going to talk about what? Preparation? Preparation. Tips for preparation. I'd say, um, you know, just listening to the songs. That's the first place to start, even if you don't no. know anything about music. I talked to Angelo earlier, and he said the first thing he does is listen to the song. Literally exactly the same thing. That's funny. I was like, oh, so learn the music. He goes, no, no, no. Just listen to the song. To listen That's to so the good. song. When are you going to build? When are you going to drop out? When That's are you going to so play good. big? When are you going to play so soft? Good. Yeah. And Angelo is probably, out of all our people, he's one of the ones that comes the most prepared. So yeah. I think he might be on to something there. Just listen to You know, because there's two aspects of the music, right? There's the song itself. Mm -hmm. How does it go? How does it feel like Angelo was talking about? And then there are the chords. And What's the music? Yeah, and uh, the secret to that is this. All worship songs are the same. <laughs> Which is another thing he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, my other thing would be pay attention to the detail. Yeah. Right? Um, some of us, I think, need to relearn how we listen to music. Yeah. Um, and you have to really zero in. So there's the macro level, which is like you just hear the song, intro, outro, chorus, whatever. Right. Then there's that micro level where you're like, what's actually really happening? Okay. Oh, the drums drop out there. Mm -hmm. Even though you're only playing guitar, you should know that. Yeah. You should know, oh, the drums drop out. Because when the drums drop out, you're going to change what you're playing. Or how you're playing. Or how you're playing it. I think my t I have a couple tips. Well, well for worship leaders, I I've said do. this so many times. We've said this so many times. Please get music and resources to your teams. Like Angelo, what Angelo said, he goes, I listen to the songs on Monday. Yeah. If you're not getting your resources to your team at least a week ahead, like you're really, you're setting yeah. your team up to not do as well as they could. I'm so glad you said that, but that's not very good. Position. How many comments do we get where, how do I get my team to come prepared? And then as you start talking, you find out they're giving them the music like Saturday. Yeah. I'm like that. So that's like and saying. And sometimes it's because the pastor is like, what you're waiting on the pastor. Well, or you think you are. You can still plan. Yeah. And why don't you come to your pastor Monday and say, yeah. here are two options that I have for a response song this week. Does yeah. one of them fit with your message? Yeah. If not, yeah. could you get me one by the end of the day that does? Because I, I'd like to equip my team. I think a lot of people use that as an excuse, and it's false. It's yeah. actually a made-up reality. You think your pastor, you're waiting on your pastor, but in reality, he might just be waiting on you, too. <laughs> I've never really met a pastor that, well, like, man, I hate the fact that my worship leader comes to me weeks out and gives me song <laughs> options. I'm in a different role this weekend than I usually am. I'm playing electric guitar. That's all I'm doing. No microphone. Just me on electric guitar, and there's another electric guitarist in the band. And I'm playing acoustic guitar. And his name is Sean. Yeah, so we got Sean. three guitars. So it's me and Fuller's on acoustic, I'm on electric, and Sean's on electric. So um, when you approach a song, if you're approaching it as a guitar player, uh, and especially if there are multiple guitar players in the band, think about arrangement. At rehearsal on Wednesday, I came, I came prepared for the song, and I had a couple options for every song, what I was going to play. I was able, I knew Sean was going to play lead most of the time because he's really good. Um, and so I had a couple rhythm options. Uh, and I basically asked, asked Sean, I was like, where are you going to be playing on the neck on this song? And he's like, oh, I'm up here like on the 12th or 13th fret or, you know, 12th fret and above. I'm like, okay, well, I can do anything from like 5 to five to 10, basically. Mm -hmm. I can, I, can, I can play rhythm anywhere in here. I can play down low on the neck. I can play up higher on the neck. But it gave Sean and I, and, and then Sean did some, a few things different too based on what, uh, what I told him I was ready to do. And so he and I together worked up arrangements so that we played parts that complemented each other. Pay attention to what the other people in the band are playing and, and make sure that you do stuff that complements one another. Yellow Ferrari. Do you think that's a Fiero with a Ferrari body on it? <laughs> yes, I do. I, I don't know. <laughs>
I think that might be the real McCoy over there. We're going to show video teaching for the second service. Pastor has to jump on a plane right now, so. Oh, really? Power of video technology. Second yes. celebration, I'll get video. We want to make sure the transition is nailed. Practice makes perfect. This is round two. It's going to get it. This is actually it. round three. Let Nail it twice. Nail it twice? Then do it for real. That's good advice. That even rhymed. Look who I found! It's Ricky! Hey! We I miss Ricky Coffee House! Oh, I miss you, Ricky. Oh, I miss you too, man. Well, can, I, can I get in this? Sure. If you don't know who Ricky is, you can need to go back and watch some previous Sunday vlogs. Yes. Ricky was in quite a few of them. Ricky's just a phenomenal drummer. Oh, his thank you. His entire family blesses this <laughs> church so much. We love them so much. And his wife's name is... Lucy. Ricky and Lucy. <laughs> it's, ah, it's true. Ah, it's not it's a lie. True. And we love Brian too. Oh, thank this you. is where we started. I was nervous the first day. I actually have a, one song from the uh, first time I played with you. And uh, I, I have it on my phone actually. You have a <laughs> song saving. on your phone? Yes. One of the songs <laughs> that my daughter recorded. When the really? first, we first we Sunday. Coffee house? Look at this. We found on Ricky's phone. There we are. <laughs> Back in Coffee House. Is this students or coffee house? Students. If you're gonna do music before your service, I highly recommend old school DC talk. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. in one word, Dave. How would you do it? Revival today. I like it. It's a revival. Who's in the picture, Seth? I Who? think Peter. 